Do you ever get tired of urban life? Do you ever just want to leave it all behind and escape? Here at Escape Getaways, we pride ourselves on giving those once-in-a-lifetime opportunities to escape the hustle of the real world and join our relaxed and isolated community. From rushing streams to hilly terrain for hikes, the Peak District offers something for everyone, let alone the fact that it's free. So what are you waiting for? Apply now at our website and see if you could be in for a once-in-your-lifetime opportunity to come hand-in-hand hand with nature and allow us to show you why you'll never return to the life you live. After all, we didn't and have never looked back. My name is Isaac and I will see you soon. You see, who even are these people? Most of them don't even exist, or at least they've gone social media dark, apart from these few reviews. What is this place? You win a free holiday and then don't come back. Ellie's been gone for three weeks now and all I keep getting are these weird messages. Holiday's going great. Think I'm gonna stay here for a bit. It's for the best. What does this even mean? I know my sister and she wouldn't just run away like this. And of course the police won't do anything because she's made contact, if you can even call that contact. I found this online forum where people are looking for their friends and relatives who have gone on holiday with Paradise Getaways and not come back. Obviously there are some wackos on there claiming it's aliens, but I want some actual answers, so I'm going on holiday. So I've won a free holiday with Paradise Getaways. Not surprising because everyone seems to win one but also everyone who wins one also goes missing. So this is definitely my best lead. I've left my car back there. I think I was meant to meet someone in this car park up here, but I'm not taking any chances with my getaway plan. I think I can see someone up there, so I'll check with you later. This place is weird, like so much weirder than I thought. I met the guy at the car park and he was literally the only one there. No staff, no visitors, nothing. And then he drove me to this other campsite. So the site they have on their website and the address isn't even real. And we were in the car for like 30 minutes and he literally said two things. I managed to record the audio in my pocket though. Listen to the creepy questions he asked me. How did you get here? I didn't see a car. A friend dropped me off. You mean a taxi? No, a friend. Uh, that's going to be a problem. Why? What do you mean? It's just, our neighbours don't like traffic. That's all the conversation we had in like a 30 minute drive. And it got weirder when we got to the camp. I was greeted by these two counsellors called Adam and Chris, and the camp leader, this guy Isaac. Then this happened. I'm going to need to take your phone and any other devices. Why? It's part of the retreat to get away from it all and isolate yourself in nature. So I handed over my phone and digital camera, but I managed to keep this camera so I could keep recording. And the madness doesn't even end there. We were waiting for the other guests to arrive, and they made us do this group activity, which was to dig a fucking hole. But I managed to get some footage of this. So I lay in the creepy grave. Here's the footage. Let's check to see if it's big enough, shall we? Jess, would you like to do the honours? Deep enough for what, I don't want to know, but I'm pretty sure it's not a tree. Um, then the other campers came back and Ellie was with them, but she didn't even acknowledge me. It was like she didn't know me. Um, so I'm gonna try and get her alone, see what's going on. Ellie, what's going on? What are you doing here? What do you mean? I'm home. No, you're not. This isn't your home, but I've come to take you home. I'm, I'm home. This is, this is a better place. What are you talking about? Ellie, you need to come back with me? I don't even know you. What? It's me, Jess. Your sister. I don't have a sister. I'm in a better place. So I'm breaking us both out of here. 
I'm not sure what kind of cocktail of drugs she's on, but it must be a lot. Don't worry, Ellie, I'm gonna fix you. We're getting out of here right now. See you on the outside. Oi, there they are. Shit. Hi guys. So, I've decided to stay a bit longer. I feel like it's for the best. I'm in a better place.